So today in Stormworks, we're back with Sinking Tuesday, and folks, we have a special one because we have a container ship and a awesome escape container sub for our sink here today. So be sure to stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. So folks, welcome back to Sinking Tuesday, and today we're gonna be checking out two absolutely epic creations. So we have the container ship here, and over here we have a sub container. Think of it being like a little lifeboat for this ship. And folks, these two things are gonna work really well together. So yeah, this is a nuclear powered container ship. It's got a lot of really cool design aspects to it. Uh, as you can see, you have all the little cargo slots here. This is where I've attached the uh, sub. So if you wanna download these, they'll be down in the description. It's two separate creations though. Uh, you have to set this little sub container on the ship. And as you can see here, we've got it connected. Uh, so yeah, this is how we're gonna hopefully escape here today. So yeah, we're in the bridge. The reactor is, I think it's still spooling up a little bit. I think it is ready to go. You've got a control panel over here to the left side. This is the controls uh, for all the uh, the little bays here. So you can see it's one through eight. Uh, you've got your one through eight here. Uh, I've got number four connected. So I think the uh, cargo should be good to go there. So let's go ahead and throttle up here and let's head out from the creative island uh it's kind of weird since it is nuclear powered like i'm not hearing that that engine sound that you get uh, it is cool though when you spawn this in it is advised to wait like probably a couple minutes uh, you'll hear the reactors kick on uh whenever this thing's ready to move but yeah uh very very cool system here uh let's see where are we heading out today i want to get to deep waters here uh, there is a couple little features here that I, I want to show you guys. Okay, so we have a waypoint in. Let's go ahead and submit waypoint. And then we're going to go autopilot on. And it's going to start to turn the ship. A uh, very cool design as far as the bridge. Like a lot of the uh, the container ships that we play with. Uh, it's got like a really massive uh, like tower here. But it seems to only be massive at the bridge. It skinnies down really, really skinny right here in the middle. Uh, so I really do kind of like this design. Also, it appears that there is an elevator in this. That's pretty unique. So yeah, uh, here in the bridge, you've got the reactor. Uh, I'm assuming this is to shut it down if you need to. And then over here, now this is called the sinking machine. Now, some people don't like when I click a sink button. They like to see natural sinks, which sometimes natural sinks just don't happen. Well, this is a randomized sinking machine. So uh, you enter a number, I believe the higher the number, the longer it might take for the sink to happen. So there is still that element of not knowing when you're gonna go down here. So we might use this. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the tour first before we uh, make that decision. So let's go ahead and call up the, uh, the elevator here. Uh, oh, there it goes. Uh, that's a cool little uh, screen there showing what floor it's on. And then here we go, number five and boom. All right, so uh, let's go down to floor one real quick. This is probably the container holds, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's an engine room or I would say reactor room. So yeah, we're down in the cargo hold here. And look, there's the uh, nuclear reactor. I'd hate for that to bust open. So there are, can actually are these, uh, maybe these are, oh, these are all elevators. I thought the elevator was on the bottom. No, look at that. You can see the railings. So in theory, we can lower, which, uh-oh, is the container, is it above this? Uh, it might be above this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is a container. We can lower this down. Now, another really neat thing about this uh, ship is the whole fact that it's got a flying crane. Now, at first I was a little confused by what that meant. Uh, it's literally a flying crane. Like, I think you can lift this up and you can move your cargo containers around uh, in this thing. Uh, should we oh it's got the same controls all right so it's wired up there yeah it is remote control well, it says it was remote controlled uh maybe that's what it means by controlling it from here so yeah we're getting a winch warning because the winch is connected up here uh we need to release that i don't know how to use this this is gonna be one of those things where it might be one of those things you guys might want to use all right so we're released there Han. let's reconnect i feel like we're gonna destroy something doing this uh keep off use oh what is this just info here well i was at the bottom deck and i was like what are these doors over here this is a bathroom kind of a place and a half for a bathroom in it uh let's go back up to the main control i guess we'll go up here to the front of the boat real quick uh make sure this is how we go out oh it's a little warm up here isn't it uh, the reactor's a little toasty so let's open this. So yeah, this will take you back out to the front of the ship. So I'm gonna go read a little bit of the uh, instructions here to see if we could try to figure this out. Also, let's look forward. We are not heading towards anything that's gonna kill us, are we? 
Uh, I don't think so. So before I inevitably kill us with uh, probably the crane, uh, real quick, there's just a couple areas. You got like an equipment room on the uh, fourth floor, uh, including uh, radioactive suits, which we might need one of those, or hazmat suits, I should say. Now, a lot of the uh, living quarters, uh, it appears to be like a little galley down here. Uh, this is floor number two. You got like a little bunk room over here. And then there's the uh, elevator shaft there. And then, of course, we were already down in the bottom. But yeah, I'm going to go up to the uh, bridge here and play with the controls. Okay, so we're going to test this on something that doesn't have cargo in it currently. So it's showing that number four is lift or is uh, loaded. So that's what we have there. And number six, I think that's where the crane is. Uh, let's try number one. So if I disconnect this and then hit that, does it lower? Oh, so it opens up the deck there and then here comes the lift. So really what we have is a bit of a mistake here. Number four, since I placed it on top of there in the mission editor, I probably should have placed it down in the ship. Uh, that container, that door is not going to be able to open up. Uh, so yeah, one's open right now, so I can say, hey, one lift, go down, and then there it goes, and then I don't know if the lid automatically closes, maybe that's something I have to close, so if I click this, does that close the lid? Looks like there's a chance I just permanently broke it. Alright, well, let's try number six, why don't we? Alright, so let's go boom, boom, there goes the lift, alright, so here comes the flying crane out. Uh, I need to disconnect that winch, I'll disconnect it once it gets up here, and there we go, boom, the flying crane is up here. Uh, I'm assuming for the flying crane, you probably want to throttle down here. Uh, so yeah, let's throttle down. We won't do any, uh, sort of high waves or anything yet. I just want to get inside of it and just see how it works. I mean, technically, I guess we could have used that as an escape method. <laughs> just fly away in the crane. Okay, let's click the winch button. All right, that dropped it. Oh, it just kind of fell through the floor there. Okay, so, all right, we're connected there. So the release is on. So let's go key. All right, uh, so we need to go to power two for a container. So, oh, are we connected? I think we are connected. Hold on, release, there we go. Dude, that's so neat. So yeah, you can fly forward. Uh, say if I wanted to attempt to grab our little sub, I don't think I'm gonna do it right now because I feel like I might destroy it. But just to kind of give you guys uh, a little bit of a look how this works. So yeah, you would go over, maybe fly a container from the, uh, the dock or something and fly it over to your ship, drop it on. That is probably the most unique thing I've ever seen as far as a crane. I mean, it's literally a flying crane. <laughs> I like that. All right. So what are the odds of me being able to land this thing and line it back up here? Uh, <laughs> Komodo needs like a little autopilot that actually takes him back. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Komodo might have this. I think I can do this. Okay. Maybe I'm not too incompetent as far as being a pilot here. Oh, let's come down. Oh, and just as I say that. Oh, don't smash into the sub. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's just let's just hit the the connection point there. There we go. We did it. All right. That's all we needed to worry about. There we go. Winch is connected again. It's throttling down. I did it. I landed the crane. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. Well, uh, real quick, we should probably look at the sub before we start this whole sinking debacle. Uh. It would be a shame. Okay, so you get in through the top here. This is a cool little creation. So we close this up. That seals the sub. Can we release from in here or do we have to release down on the deck? There's a chance we have to release on the deck there. Oh, there's wheels on this. I guess technically we could drive this thing. But yeah, we would uh, probably, we could release at the connection point, which is right there. And then as the ship goes down, we'll just throttle this up. I mean, this can go underwater. As long as I'm in here when the ship is going down, we'll be completely fine. We might actually go down with the ship. That might be a good uh, solution. That way we don't actually release ourselves and get hit by the ship on the way down. So we'll just allow it to go all the way down to the ocean floor and then click the button. Actually, we would need to be outside for that, wouldn't we? Uh, I could put a little scuba gear on or something. Uh, maybe we'll click it beforehand, but you know what? Let's go test this thing out against some high waves. All right, here we are, high wind test. I love these container ships because the bridge is so high up. It gives you a whole new perspective when the waves kick in, like how tall you are. Oh, it's so cool looking, plus how open they are. Uh, you can see we're getting pounded. We're not too bad here as far as the waves. Uh, we still got a ways to go before we get out to the uh, checkpoint, which I'm pretty sure is going to be fairly deep water. Uh, so I'm going to let this thing do its thing until we get out there. So I've been staring at the sinking machine. I did read about it. So the higher number you enter, 
the less likely it is to sink. So it is almost completely randomized. You just don't know uh, when it's gonna happen. So uh, I'm gonna click it here in a minute and we're gonna do it that way just to test this out. All right, the weather has deteriorated. I may or may not have clicked the, uh, the little sink box. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work. Uh, but you know what? The ship is actually doing a really good job. Hold on, let's turn off uh, the autopilot. That way we can wrestle with the waves a bit. Uh, I do fear, wait, is there water getting in? You know, that might not be sealed. Hold on, let's go ahead. That is bay number four. All right, so let's go ahead and tell bay number four. Uh, can the lift go back down, please? Uh, I don't know if I'm clicking this in the right order. On, get, go down. <gasps> uh, why was I thinking bay number four was the crane? Our sub just dropped off the back of the ship. It's fine. Okay, so we are back. That was rather embarrassing. I disconnected the wrong one. I was like, I'm going to disconnect the helicopter crane or I was going to move it down. And I, I saw the number four and I was like, wait a minute. That's the sub. I need that. Okay, so we are back once again. Uh, we're going to get back into a little bit deeper waters. Fight the uh, the waves and the storm here. Uh, but I must say this ship is handling it like a champion. Like, I'm not sure what it, what it would take to actually make it go down naturally. Besides leaving the, uh, maybe forgetting to close one of the doors or something. Uh, that might be a thing. Okay, so there's an alarm going... Uh-oh. Okay, that's why the alarm's going off. So, yeah, the light turned red in here. Is that because of the natural disaster? Is that because of the sink button? That is a good question. All right, we want to turn away from the tornado. That is uh, something that I think our little container sub would not be able to go up against. Was that like an automatic alarm? If it was, that was kind of cool. Because, yeah, the red light's turned on in here. Also, it might be because of the sink uh, box. I'm not sure. Okay, it appears that the tornado is running or moving to the right. So here, let's go to the left. We want to avoid that. That is not how I want to go down here today. Uh, it, is it chasing us? Whoa, it, oh, it's definitely getting closer. Okay, no, 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 no. That is too close for comfort. Go to the left side. Uh, I'm not sure it would lift a ship this big, but it might try to rip the sub off the uh, the deck here. So <laughs> we've already had one unfortunate accident with that. Let's go this way. Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, we barely dodged that thing. That came out of nowhere. That was cool. All right. Well, we still have red lights here. Uh, I'm thinking that there's still something that's going to happen. It was weird because the reactor almost like powered up or something. Uh, it could be the whole fact that we're jumping in and out of the waves. Yeah, look at that. The power actually went up and down. Why is the power showing zero? Oh, we're at low power. Does the reactor... How does this thing work? Is it working off of the uh, the sun? Because we were at full power. Why would we have lost it? Or is that a part of the sink? Um, okay, well, I don't see any overheating. So rod temperatures in the yellow. I don't know if that changes colors. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll leave the reactor as is. Uh, we just need to monitor what's happening here. We might need to go under deck uh, to see if we're taking on water or what's going on. I mean, we could go observe that. Should we put on a, uh, a suit? Hold on, let's push the push the button. I need the elevator. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this is probably something that's not advised, stepping into an elevator as the, uh, the ship is having issues. Uh, probably would want to use the stairs. I think there was an emergency hatches. Uh, in this ship. All right, here we go. First level. Okay. Uh, is it smoking up there? Look, there's puffs coming out of it. The reactor is also a different color now. Um, are we having a nuclear meltdown? Okay, we want to go up to floor number four and probably want to put on like maybe a, a hazmat suit or something. I think it's four, so let's go four floor. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> okay, hazmat. There we go. All right, well, we're good against the radiation. Is there anything else we want to grab up here? Is there uh, med kits? That's weird. I don't see any med kits in here. Okay, well, um, let's go back up to, I guess, the bridge, and then we'll see if we can uh, diagnose. See if maybe we've gotten power again in the uh, reactor. Uh, no, we're still showing low power. It's at zero. Dude, there's a lot of water going over the deck. Okay, uh, hold on. We got to go. Uh, that is happening a lot quicker than I thought it would. Uh, wait, can we get out the side here? Uh, okay, hop over. Ooh, okay. Swim for the sub. I'll get up on top. Oh, jeez. It is definitely already going down. Uh, 
Wait, the door's locked. Oh, I gotta hit the side. Okay, we are in the sub. Dude, we're bouncing around. I disconnected it from the deck. Okay, so this is probably where we want to be. We have to wait for this thing to go down, though. It's just taking on water. Did the reactor bust? I'm not getting any radiation warnings. Uh, but it was definitely doing something up there. Okay, uh, oh, this is cool. Uh, we need this to go straight down. Is there anything I need to do? There's accelerator, uh... Should we put the wheels up? That way we can roll on the deck, huh? Let's put those down. All right, so we're elevated now. Uh, hopefully we'll lift off the deck a little easier. This is such a creative idea. Okay, I don't think we want to do this. Oh, uh, where's... Okay, I think I saw wheel brakes somewhere. Let's see, lights, get those on. Uh, let's turn the wheels off. We want to maybe set on the deck. I feel like we're going to roll back. If we get caught under the bridge as the ship goes down, that would be bad. But yeah, this is cool. I mean, it's kind of scary because it's not like a lifeboat. And you can't launch it. So we're definitely depending on uh, the ship. Uh, wait, is it going down? Or is it... No, definitely the water line. It's taking on water. You can see it's weird. It's a weird effect coming out of the front of the ship. If you look to the left side, there's something going on with the reactor right now. Uh, it hasn't broken open or anything. Like, we're good. I mean, we have our safety suit on, so that would help us anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of waiting here. Okay, uh, wait. We just fell off the ship. Oh. Uh, he's gonna clear it up a little bit. Dude, we're off. Okay, so... One of the waves knocked off the sub. Uh, hold on. Should we crank this up? Okay. I don't know what that means. What is equal? Enrich... I don't know if we should be clicking that. Uh, all right, accelerator. Let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, the sub is powering. Oh, what is it doing? Okay, we're underwater. Uh, okay, so let's go up. Where'd the ship go? Uh, that was odd. Wait. Did it, did it go under? Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Let's go to the left. Uh, let's go find the ship. The tower is still above water, or the bridge, but it is definitely going down. Uh, we probably want to do... Let's just go down and control this. I feel like fighting these waves is not a good idea. Okay, this is officially really cool. Like, I like this escape. You can see the boat to the right. It's starting to tilt down. Uh, we're heading back towards it. Dude, we could actually go underwater and, like, look at the wreckage. I feel like that'd be cool, huh? Let's accelerate down a little bit. You can see it's pointing down right now. I don't know if it's fully submerged. We're coming up on the lights right now. Uh, I mean, that's an escape and a half. Wait, why did we get hurt there? We good? Actually took a little bit of damage. Oh, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. We don't want to run into the ship. Oh, that is so cool. Yep, there it goes. It is now cruising past us underwater. Yeah, that went down pretty quick. I didn't put a very high number into the, uh, the button. But yeah, there was definitely something happened with the reactor. We lost power, but there she goes. And we are completely safe in this thing. So if you're going to do a cargo ship sink, I would highly suggest downloading this and sticking it on there. Actually, go download both of these and do this together. This was pretty cool. All right, here we go. Out of the water and up. Oh, we're a dolphin. Hey, that worked out. So yeah, we could probably easily just cruise back to shore. I uh, probably would go underwater and uh, get back to the island and then submerge. It's a little hard to control this thing up on the waves. I mean, it is a big, like, just container, basically, box. But, like I said, go download these creations. We'll see you guys next time.